What is happening guys, it's Alan here from the Dangleberries and today I have a very special video for you. I've teamed up with Coconut Brad to bring you the top 20 tips and tricks from this recent season of Operation Grim Sky. Now the way we've done it is I'm doing 10 on my channel and he's doing a part two with another 10 tips and tricks. So make sure to go over to his channel after watching this video and check out the other 10 tips and tricks that he will be showing you guys. Now a couple of things I want you to keep in mind guys, this is not a list of the top 10 technically perfect tips and tricks but instead this is a list of my personal favorite tricks that i've used throughout operation grim sky now of course with the new season being out a couple of days these are fantastic tips and tricks that you can carry forward into the new season so without me talking anymore guys let's dive in and check out these tips and tricks so for our first trick of the day guys, it's the sledge breach. Now you may remember this from a long time ago, but it actually still works in game and I've been using it a lot during Grim Sky. Now it's a little bit risky, but it's a lot of fun to use. What you have to do here guys is have one of your teammates place a breach charge on a window. Now you have to be sledge for this. You will repel up the building and once you're in front of the window, swing out as you normally would to hop breach in a window. But when you reach the apex, swing your sledgehammer and you will instantly go through the window into the room. Now under normal circumstances you would have to sledge the window before you can actually swing in So this is a little interesting thing to use and try out. It's a lot of fun It's a quick entry into the room and it's a lot quieter than a breach charge So moving on to the next one guys, you may have seen Nico R6 post this on Twitter in recent months. This is an amazing angle up on top of the fridge inside kitchen on cafe. Now it's very straightforward to do, you just need a vault up on top of the counter and then looking at the very corner edge of the fridge, you will get a vault prompt up on top. Now you can make impact holes or small murder holes in the walls to watch the bakery door entrance to a very small pixel angle or you can look down towards the main entrance of the building providing a Amazing angles which I've been using this a lot throughout the season and it's been very effective so make sure to try it out. Moving on to the next one guys and this is an angle on Oregon that I've been using a lot throughout Grim Sky and it's been so so effective. Now a lot of you may know about this one already but for some of you new players this is a very effective angle as a lot of enemies love to sit behind that bomb site and peek through that little gap between the bomb and the wall to the outside window. You can counter that by getting into this position and you can get a pixel angle on that bomb spot and take out the enemy sitting there. So moving on over onto border and not only is this a hiding spot it also provides some amazing angles this is located on the second floor inside the break room now what you need to do here guys is you need to throw an impact to break the crate on top of the vending machine now get on top of the couch and walk to the very edge of it and you'll get a vault prompt up on top of the vending machine now you can make a small hole in the wall looking through into cctv to that window on the far side and you can also break the top of the door on break room and watch Watch anyone pushing up from that valley spawn.
Moving on to the next one guys, this was a new angle that I found during Grim Sky on Border. I'm going to show you how it's done on PS4 and on PC as they're a little different. Now with PS4 you just need to look at the pickup truck exactly where I've marked it. You can vault up on top of it onto the roof of the truck. Now there's a very specific point on the back of the large truck where you need to look to get this vault prompt. You can see I've shown it on screen here. Now when it comes to PC it's a little bit different. It's the same to get up onto the pickup truck, the same point you need to look at. Now, once you're on the roof of the pickup, all you need to do is run straight towards the truck and you will be able to vault up on top of it. Now, this angle is amazing. It provides a great angle looking in through office's window and the archives door. Now, I'm going to show you here. If you can get that wall open in offices, you will be able to see the whole way back down to the back of the armory. So moving on to the next trick guys, this one involves thermite. Now what you can do here is you can basically stop thermite from opening up any hard walls and this can work on any map that has that little gap above when you reinforce the wall. So this is pretty straightforward. What you need to do is make sure you reinforce the walls, open up the holes across the top of the reinforcements and then once thermite comes up to put the breach charge on the wall, when you see it start to go off, you throw your impact grenade just over the top of the reinforcement and you will destroy destroy the thermite charge. Now it doesn't matter whether thermite is standing or he crouches to put the thermite charge on the wall, the impact grenade will still destroy it. Moving on to the next one guys, now this is a trick that I found a very long time ago but I've been using it a lot during Operation Grimsky and it's been frustrating the enemies on countless occasions. Now this is basically a Valkyrie camp spot up on top of a vent. Now the old way you could do this was by breaking open the hatch on the strip club side of the building and throwing the Valcam up on top of the vent. Now of course with the changes to the Valkyrie cams you'll be able to throw them a lot further which means you can actually do this from gym room upstairs on the second floor. You can just break open that window and simply throw the cam right on top of the vent. Now it basically provides infinite scans on the enemy as it is impossible for the enemy to see the cam on the vent. Moving on to the next one guys, this one is taking us over onto Bank. Now this is another Valkyrie cam location located on the bottom floor in the CCTV room. Now I showed this a very long time ago in a Valcam Spots video, but it's still an amazing one that I've been using countless occasions throughout Grim Sky and you can carry it over into the new season. So what I need to do is throw a Valcam in between the gap in the ceiling. Now when you're using the camera, you can see the whole of the CCTV room and the entrance out into the server room but the enemies cannot see the cam as you can see on screen. It is very difficult for the enemies to see that camera hidden up in the ceiling. Onto Clubhouse for this next one guys and this is a grenade spot located in the garage on the first floor. Now a lot of enemies when the site is located in cash room will have a mirror sitting on the top of cash room stairs watching over the site. Now what this nade spot can do is you can throw a nade up through the ceiling and it will roll all the way down the hallway and take out the enemy sitting on top of the stairs. 
for our final trick today guys this is a hiding spot that i have showed in many videos in the past but for some reason this season it has been more effective than it's ever been so a lot of you guys clearly don't know about this so for some of you new players this is going to be an amazing spot for you guys to see so basically all you need to do here is go in front of the blue little generator you can vault up on top of that and then you'll get a vault up on top of the shelving unit now this provides an amazing spot for enemies pushing in that alley access door you can drop down and get that easy interrogation and take control of the round and here is a short example gameplay clip of this spot in action go don't you dare look up there don't you dare there we go that's a nice bait now come in the door okay <laughs> interrogation baby oh it's that one. Very oh he's mad dude So that is it for the video today guys now do not forget to go over to check out the other 10 tips and tricks that coconut has on his channel the link will be in the description i also want to just let you guys know that i'm streaming over on twitch every single day i play ps4 and pc we do custom games ranked with followers and subs so make sure to drop a follow over on twitch the link is on screen and in the description keep up to date on all the latest we're doing over on twitter and instagram and if you are new to the channel make sure to hit that sub button and the notification bell so you know when we upload our next video and as always <laughs>